Step five in mastering the row. We've already talked about learning the RDL. We've talked about doing some rows. We talked about choosing an appropriate weight. We talked about um, driving with the hips and to kind of go even further with the hip drive. Today, we're going to talk about learning the weight shift. So when I do the RDL, I, I'm moving my entire body, right? I need my midsection to stay really set. And then I just drive and I drive the hips forward and stand up. The row is different than that because I need some fluidity in my thorax, in my rib cage to allow my shoulder blades to start moving. So that is, you know, to me, that's one of the reasons I think this is so challenging. It's hard enough to learn the deadlift where you need to keep everything set and not that much really changes. You're just kind of driving with your hips. <clears throat> but if I'm doing the row, I need I need a lot more uh, mobility. I need a lot more fluidity in my body if I'm going to get the position, if I'm going to get the forces going where they need to be going. And when I do the row and I pick the bar up to my chest, my center of mass shifts around a little bit um, and, and it elevates a lot, right? So the torque that I need is totally different. And the positions that I need when I'm here in the max row and when I'm stretched out at the bottom, those positions are totally different. So I need subtle shifting in my entire body. <clears throat> The key I think here that I want you to really take away and I want you to think about while you do these exercises is I need even pressure in my feet throughout the entire movement. So that's going to be the, the you know, kind of like the recording that you're constantly making and playing back while you're doing the bent row uh, that will tell you if you're doing it correctly or not. <clears throat> uh, but as I you know, to describe the motion a little bit as I pull up, it's going to actually make me kind of extend my hips. So I have to kind of straighten out ever so slightly as I lift that up. <clears throat> and this works if you've taken that last step we talked about and you really know how to initiate that wave of force with your hips. Remember, drive the hips forward, keep everything relatively set and that will allow you to get the right weight shift. But the cue again that you should pay attention to is are my feet flat in the ground? <clears throat>